So today I went to Best Buy and I took a look at the, what is now, the Kindle keyboard. And it was available um, in either black or white, or I should say graphite or white. The one that I was playing with was the white one, but I do think if I chose this model I'd choose the graphite one. I'm basically trying to choose between this one and the Kindle Touch, but what's interesting about the two of them is they are so similar it's driving me nuts. So what do I think of the Kindle keyboard? Keyboard is very, very nice. Very quick, very responsive, very easy to use. Um, in all honesty, if I wasn't giving this a perfect 10 out of 10, which I am, um, I wouldn't have this dilemma. Um, the only way it could be solved is to try the touch out for myself, but the touch won't be available till the end of November. So, but then again, good things come to he who waits. The speech output was very easy to understand, very easy to use. The menu guidance and the reading facility was very good. Highlighting was really easy to do. Um, you just arrow around, click in the center when you want to start highlighting, arrow around, click in the center again when you want to stop, and you have the highlighted passage. You can also um, add a note to wherever you are. You can arrow around and add a note to any part of the text you want. And also I can see this line as being a very good placeholder. Um, the cursor itself being a good placeholder for every line. It would be a nice, place to, nice uh, way to keep your spot. However, the one thing that draws me to the touch model, which is why I'm very curious about how it's going to handle, is the x-ray feature. That feature I can see as being very practical for a college student. And again, um, for those of you who do not know, take a look at my video on the new Kindle Touch, and, I can exp and I'll explain it there. But um, as far as a student goes, um, it's, it's basically it's coming down to a question of interface, but for those of you who have a Kindle, what do you think of the current Kindle keyboard, and what do you think the Kindle Touch is going to be like? Um, very, e like I said, very easy to use, very responsive. For an e-ink device, it was very quick. I fell in love with that electronic ink display. I had no issues seeing it whatsoever. Um, the only thing that bugged me was the um, was the flash. It didn't bug me so much as I didn't um, didn't get a chance to play with it more than maybe a half hour at the most. But I do think that if I were reading, say, two and a half, three hours, multiple chapters in a textbook, that flash could probably get annoying. So what I'm wondering is whether or not they are going to incorporate the technology into the Kindle keyboard that has the um, the refined refresh uh, technology of the Kindle Touch. But really, it's only that, the X-ray technology, those two I'm wondering if they're going to be in the Kindle keyboard. And then it comes down to a question of how the inter user interface is going to work. That's the main question. But, um, yeah, overall, I think that, honestly, 10 out of 10. I also shopped on the Amazon uh, Kindle store the other night for a textbook that I needed. Um, I already got it in hard copy print, but I just wanted to see what the difference was in price. 40 bucks, which I think is very significant for, for, uh, for a college student. And I honestly, this is, this is right there that is a perfect example I am definitely going to be getting a Kindle for Christmas I'm just not sure which one I want um, either the touch screen Kindle or the keyboard but that's why I'm asking you guys to weigh in what do you guys think thank you for watching comments are welcome and have a nice day thank you in advance for your help